through the smoke. Marcus Smith and the Sharks in white. Their hands full again over the next couple of hours. Tried to put the shove on and uh, created a certain amount of confusion, but Hendricks gets the ball away safely enough. Kerwin Bosch, the fly half, and here's the fullback, Apaleli Fassi. Oh, and then taken nicely by Taki Abrahams, and Abrahams gets it away, and the Canyon on. And the Sharks in double quick time. Well, well, well. What a score. Maybe somewhat fortuitous with the bounce, but Quinn's. The defence just needed to loosen off a little bit. You're disappointed when you get beaten from first phase on the outside there. Delicate little chip. And once you're in behind, it's a straight two on one. Esther Hazen. Eager for it. Here he goes. Doesn't have it for long. Instead, it's Wilco Low. That's uh, Vincent Chituka over the top, but still wins. And it didn't take long for them to equalise. Given the forwards the opportunity a couple of times, the space just opens up for him. I mean, it's the work from Bassett, getting through and getting in behind. And once you do that, the Sharks are always up against it. A couple of little pot balls, Wilco Lowe, the speed of this. And look, they just can't reorganise, can they? And Shea's calling for numbers over on that far side. Danny Kerr, just a little show and go. He's done that a few times in his career. And that's a wonderful response. Little step there, gap too big. And he's straight through. There it is, the ruck speed we were talking about. Esther Hazen, Wallop. Kerr, Smith again having to stretch but doing well. And Marchant releasing it for Nick David on his bike. Dombran, try. Quinn's very quickly into fifth gear. Well, that's another wonderful score. And again, it comes from the penalty that Sharks have given away off the kickoff. And, I mean, if we highlighted the ruck speed a second ago, that was probably even quicker. One ruck from S. Hazen straight over the game line. Look at that. No chance to reorganise your defence. A wonderful pick-up and sleight of hands from, yeah, you guessed it, Marcus Smith. And then, instead of going to the outside and looking for Bassett, I think Quinn's absolutely take the right option and come back inside. David finding Dobrant. Quinn's in fine voice. Thanks, man. Just a brilliant try, isn't it? Care. Esther Hazen. Oh, and I wasn't far away, but Smith opening up. David try. Caden Murley. And Quinns have three. Well, well, well. Caden Murley, the beneficiary, but the Sharks really are just being opened up way, way too easily for a team of this quality. Got, look at this. Simple drive that had penalty advantage. I mean, Esther Hazen gives it to Bassett. Once it goes through the hands, no chance, but I would expect a much stronger line speed from any South African team, and they're just busted way too easily. At the end of a week, when he earned his place in England Six Nations squad. Hendricks are seeing that penalty advantage. Be interested to see if the referee... Yeah, how far they have to go. Bit of lazy span away with it. Bosch, Ben Tapawai. A familiar figure in these parts, and now Marnus Potty to first time we've seen him. And now the hands, and now the run from Hendricks, uh, and he scores. They don't score dull tries, these Sharks. Look at this, Potty. It's, it's his ability to stay on his there, feet right? through the contact. Look at that. Quinn's missed the tackle. Danny Kerr unable to bring down his man. And He's able to stay on his feet through contact, get the offload away to Hendricks, up, and from absolutely nowhere, they're able to get over the line. Good finish, isn't it? Thanks, Ray. Thank you very much. Just goes through the tank, tackle, doesn't he? Of Danny Kerr, Potita, and then great support. Goes from inside to out. A quick one for the Sharks. No, Kerr, Dombrand and Murley for Quinns in quick succession. Jaden oh, Hendricks. Oh, and it's been intercepted. And here goes Etzebeth striding away and scoring. A half full of tries. Bookended by two for 
the Sharks at the beginning of it and at the end of it. I don't think it's a try, Nick. I think he's bound. I think Marl is bound at the back. His shoulder's touching. Initially, he's bound there, but as he extends, yeah, he's onside. It's fine. I mean, he's get away with that. But the, but the fascinating thing is that it's not the first time that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Clearly, clearly unbound. Yeah, but can I just say something? He starts and then offside. Position. No, no, he's onside. He's onside. Trust me. I think he's. Asked, I think Don Brandt's asking exactly yeah, the right question. Win the line out. Uh, it's who won it, and the try scored. Levis won it, Levis scored it against old buddies. Bonus point via this. If you watch Esteban, he just goes right through the back of the line. I've taken about four, play four players out with him, but he also breaks a load of his own players out. It's almost, it's almost his own strength that's caused that, because I'm pretty sure Quinns weren't looking to wheel that round the front. Bosch to the hooker from Furen. Lovely stuff from Abrahams. Oh, and then the kick, maybe not as well executed as everything else. But what of Davids? What of this? What adventure! He's being chased by a horn of sharks, but Davids the quickest. He's the quickest fish in the sea. And Quinn's beginning to pull away with their second try of this second half. Well, he's had a bright game, isn't he, Nick David? He's been lively all the way throughout. He saw his footwork earlier on. How about this? They get it all wrong. Wonderful little work initially, isn't it? Stepping one way, then the other from Abrahams, but he kicks the ball directly to Nick David, and then he just sees acres of space. There's one thing, seeing it, there's one thing executed correctly. No one there in the backfield at all for the Sharks. Puts a little kick. And Chunu, that's a big tackle from Finn Baxter. Penalty advantage as well for offside. Fenter wide to Fassi. Gets there. There's just a, there's something about the Sharks, isn't there? When they, when they have to, they just turn up the volume. The, the intensity, the ferocity at which the runners were coming round the corner. And it was just the most wonderful pickup. And then they work it to that far side. Thoroughly entertaining game. And Quinn's crowd in full voice. They might have one more try to cheer about. George Head, Etzebeth up there. Might yet work for Smith. And that's gone forwards, and that'll do. Well, that was a cracking contest between two teams who we will both see in the last 16 of this season's Champions Cup. That was a, a good watch, and it's finished here at the Stoop. Harlequins 39, Sale Sea Sharks 29.